Since World War II, women's gymnastics has been dominated by the Soviets and East Europeans. Incredibly, in nine Olympic Games, no American woman had won an individual gold, silver, or bronze medal. It is August 3rd, 1984. Another capacity crowd fills the arena to witness the women's individual all-around competition. 36 women competing in four disciplines for the most prestigious title in gymnastics. Coming into the all-around competition, Mary Lou Retton is in the lead. She is coached by Bella Caroli, who a few years earlier defected to the United States from Romania. Caroli gained international fame as the coach of Nadia Comaneci, the star of the 1976 Olympic competition. In 1973, three years before Nadia Comaneci's performance in Montreal, a five-year-old acrobat from Fairmont, West Virginia, was tirelessly performing at her school's auditorium. Young Mary Lou Retton was training to fulfill her childhood ambition to become the finest cheerleader in the world. At that time, there was not much opportunity for girls in sports, but there was this class that you would go and do flips and tumbles and cartwheels and somersaults. And that was what I loved from the very beginning. <laughs> and that's all you see was just me going back and forth, back and forth, tumbling. I mean, that's what I love to do. It's so funny. My daughters today love to watch that. It's kind of like, you know, take her batteries out, would you please? <laughs> Nine years later, now focused on gymnastics, she met Bella Caroli for the first time. There was a little bubbly, exploding personality. I called the little bubble gum. <laughs> a little bubble gum, the one who was uh, Mary Lou. Amazing uh, physical abilities, her explosiveness, uh, the quickness, uh, the strength, uh, the natural strength was outstanding. Besides, uh, she was strong mentally. She always knew what she wants to do. She always had a very, very well set goals. And she was following her goals right before the Olympic Games already uh, in Japan, winning uh, the prestigious World Cup, uh, the Chunichi Cup in Japan. Then I see, yes, this one little girl has a lion heart and a strength the one I always wanted to see in my athletes. After winning numerous titles, her reputation grew. But to many, Mary Lou Retton's challenge for top honors in Los Angeles is a miracle. A month and a half before the Los Angeles Olympics, Retton underwent arthroscopic surgery for torn cartilage in her knee. I had to have surgery. I had to have surgery to remove it. And even though it was a very, it was a relatively easy operation to remove it, I would have less than six weeks to undergo surgery, rehab the knee, and then try to get back into some kind of Olympic shape. That was a fight between everything or nothing, between fulfilling a dream or losing everything. I'm not sure in every moment she had this, this, this strong belief that I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it. I don't know what you, what you call it, but that's when I click and that's when you kind of get into the zone and say, you know what, look, look at all that I have given up so far. Everything I have sacrificed, leaving my family, you know, all of these things. Again, I don't want to spend my life wondering what would have happened or what could have happened. I'm going to try. If I fail, that's okay. I can live my life knowing at least I tried. So we had surgery literally right away, and I was back in the gym the next day. But you know what? When we arrived in Los Angeles, five weeks and four days later, I was completely ready. The 36 finalists for the individual all-around are introduced. Of the seven highest qualifiers, three come from Romania and three from the United States. One of the Romanian qualifiers is Ekaterina Zabo, a former student of Bella Caroli's before he defected. This made it even more valid, more alive, a tremendous, uh, beautiful athletic fight right on the floor. Two great athletes, the reigning world champion, Ekaterina Sabo, my former little girl from Romania, now going to my actual uh, pupil, the one who is prepared, who is ready to take the world. And uh, this fight was absolutely gorgeous. 
Representing the United States, Kathy Johnson, Mary Lou Retton, and Julianne McNamara. Four events would be contested. Uneven bars, balance beam, vault, and floor exercise. So that all the apparatus can be contested simultaneously, the 36 finalists are divided into four groups of nine. Mary Lou Retton and Ekaterina Zabo are in different groups. Mary Lou's coach, Bella Caroli, is here, but in no official capacity. The head coach of the American women's team is Don Peters. However, Bella Caroli has obtained credentials as an equipment representative. Bella wasn't the official Olympic coach. Bella was lucky enough to just acquire a, an equipment pass to wear. And if you, you watch the video and you watch the tapes of, of the competition, there is this barrier that went around the entire gym and he was not allowed on the other side because he wasn't an official coach. Don Peters was the official Olympic coach and I, I have no, no problems with Don, but Bella and Don did not get along. And the situation was pretty tense. I trained you my entire life for this competition, the most important competition of my life. And then somebody says, well, he's not gonna be your coach anymore, here's your new coach. You know, and granted, Don was a fabulous coach. I think he put three or four girls on the Olympic team, but he wasn't my coach. He didn't know how to push my buttons. As the competition begins, Mary Lou Retton is in first place due to the scores she earned from the team competition two nights earlier. Trailing by 15 hundredths of a point, Ekaterina Zabo of Romania. On her first apparatus, the balance beam, Ekaterina Zabo reinforces the many predictions that call for her to win this individual all-around competition. She scores a perfect 10. Meanwhile, at the uneven bars, as her coach Bella Caroli urges her on, Mary Lou Retton scores well, but not high enough to remain alone in first place. After one round, Ekaterina Zabo and Mary Lou Retton are tied for the lead. In the second rotation, Mary Lou Retton stays in contention with a 9.8 on the beam, but falls to second place when Ekaterina Zabo comes through with a 9.95 in her floor exercise. After two rotations, Ekaterina Zabo leads Mary Lou Retton by 15 hundredths of a point, the exact margin by which she trailed when the evening began. I knew that we were going to be neck and neck. She was world champion coming in. She was the one that was supposed to win. I mean. I was a nobody. I had a name in the USA gymnastics community, a little bit in the worlds, because I'd won the American Cup a couple times and Shinichi Cup, but I'd never competed in a world championship in an Olympic Games. She was definitely the queen, and I knew that. I knew it was gonna be a dogfight. I was up for it. Everything I had been through, especially those last six weeks, nothing was gonna stop me. The third apparatus for Zabo is the vault. She scores a 9.9. .9. Meanwhile, at the floor exercise, Mary Lou Retton is magnificent. 